Okay, so this is the uh, connection or setup. So this is coming from the main supply from the customer's pipe through the valve. At the bottom, you can see the filter. As I said, that comes with my particular machine, the Wilkes uh, TF625. Uh, so depending on what you have, you might have a different filter that you'd need to attach in there. And then if you come down here, you can see the outlet, which runs straight to the machine at the back there. So that's the machine. I've got the Wilkes uh, 625i. Okay, hi folks. Um, let me just go through the different parts here that I've got together for my uh, wheelie bin water tank. So I've sourced all of these things from Amazon or Toolstation and I'll put the links in the description. But basically what we've got here is the uh, water inlet and then down here we've got the outlet. Okay, so the most expensive thing here probably was the uh, ball valve, the three quarter inch which I got from Amazon for £14. But if I start up here, and the first thing we've got is this three quarter inch brass uh, hose pipe connector, which will go into this here. This comes as a pair. These are brass water tank connectors, three quarter inches uh, from Amazon. And uh, you get two of them for 11 pounds. So one will be used for the inlet and one for the outlet. So these come with uh, rubber seals, two rubber seals. So the uh, wheelie bin basically will go here. You've got this on the outside. This will be the inside of the wheelie bin. And then attached to that, is this half inch automatic float valve which I picked up from Amazon for £10. Um, these are supposed to be really good um, having read the reviews. So basically this connects into here and the connector here, if I stick that on, okay, that allows the connection to the mains uh, from the customer's water supply water flows through and it automatically shuts off when it gets to uh, a couple of centimeters above here so that's your water inlet and then this is the outlet so this will basically go to your uh, machine connected by a, a short pipe so we've got our connector here which will go into the ball valve like this I screw that in and then on the other end here uh, we have a brass three-quarter inch uh, hose quick connector which will go into there so this lets you control the water you can shut it off you can turn it on okay by turning the valve that will connect to the pipe here so again, I've picked this up uh, from a uh, tool station for a couple of quid, this quick connector, brass connector. And then that will then run to the machine. Okay, uh, so to my um, Wilkes TX625 machine. Okay, so as I said, all of that came to about 45 pound and I've seen uh, online some uh, crazy prices uh, being asked for stuff uh, to set up a, a wheelie bin water tank. Um, I've seen 150 pounds, uh, a few different places. So this really is pretty cheap, to be honest. The, the wheelie bin, as I said, uh, I did have a spare one, so that didn't cost me anything, but 45 pound for all of this. I also needed uh, to get one of these brass uh, spigots here because my machine comes with this filter. So you might not need this, um, but it's good because even though there's a filter in here in the float valve it does come if I show you if I unscrew that you can see that there there is a filter in there but my machine came with a filter as well so all I've done is just added a spigot a 15 mil half inch uh, spigot which goes into here and then that will filter uh, the water 
so as I said, you might not need that depending on your machine, on your setup. But uh, I think most machines do require some kind of filter for the water. Okay. So this is the uh, setup here before I put the parts together, just quickly show you. So we've got our inlet parts here. Okay, so we're gonna drill a hole for this, which will go over here. And then on the other side for the outlet, we're gonna drill a hole for this part here, a couple of inches above the bottom. Okay, so I've got a 25 mil bit here, which I'm gonna to use to draw my hole in the wiggly bin. So we start with the hole on the side here. Okay, so we're going to start off by pushing this through um, the wheelie bin, the hole that I made here uh, through the inside. It comes with a rubber seal. So I'm going to just put that through there. Tight. Then if I take the other ring, put it on there, and we can tighten it with the nuts. Just going to finish off by tightening it with my wrench. Then we can add the brass connector on the side and our float valve, if you have a look in here, will screw into the hole. So this is a half inch float valve and it should fit into there. Next I'm going to take my three quarter inch ball valve and we're going to screw this on. And then our little connector will go in here. So this will connect to um, the pipe that goes to the machine. The uh, flow rate isn't fantastic uh, here coming from the mains. I did work it out to be about 15 litres per minute. You can do that with, with a jug, very simple calculation. But uh, you can see when I turn the valve, when I open the water supply here, it is much faster coming out. Plus remember the machine is gonna be sucking out some water as well.